On screen, we've got an animated headline, but getting this effect in a lot of page builders is not that simple because a lot of preset styles or settings do not give you this rotating roller auto scroll effect. I'm going to show you how to do this inside of WordPress right now. And unfortunately, this is where I have to let the cat out the bag because this is done with pure HTML. You can use this on WordPress, any page builder. What you're going to do is go and set up your container, go and set up your alignment, justify, go and give it a background image. Now I am going to show you how this would look if you did not have a background image as well, because maybe you want to showcase certain phrases or words. Maybe it's about your services. Maybe it's about what the clients will benefit from anything that can make your hero banner or another part of your website so much more appealing. Now, the power of all of this is done via the HTML. And for anyone who's a little bit scared of coding, don't be. Everything is inside of the code. And I've tried to make it really easy for you to manipulate this as well. And you're going to see that when I get onto it. The most important step is defining what are the rows and lines that you're going to see. So I've gone and popped in uh, five items over here. Don't make them massively too long. Don't start sticking in paragraphs of text because don't forget it is going to scroll. And if you have too much text, the viewer or the user might not have time to read it all. And you don't want to make it too slow either. Otherwise, they might not even realize it rotates or rolls. So let me remind you of what the effect does. So like I said, maybe you're showcasing your services or what you're doing. So get noticed fast, win more leads, sell with ease. These are things that I'm trying to get across to the user of what we can do for them as a web design agency or a freelancer. But in a lot of animated headlines, what you get is a single word. You might have a phrase and then you might have a single word that either like drops in, drops out, slides in and stuff like that. But I always find that some of them, they don't kind of rotate properly. It always feels like it just drops in. And I want to have more of a rolling effect over here. And you can pop this on a background image. So if you notice the words over here that are grayed out, they're a little bit transparent. There's a bit of opacity. Or you could have a bold block color as well. And then you could manipulate what colors come through. So let's jump in now to that code. Step one go and define what your text will be. Now, could you have done this with, say, an elemental heading, maybe, and then got this to work? You could, but I found it quite complexicated, and there were far more steps you had to do, and I wanted to keep this code as simple as possible. The code has been done with the help of ChatGPT, but a lot of it is down to what I was asking it to do and how I wanted it to work. So go and define what your text is. Then further down, sorry, over here, you're then going to define how many slides you're going to view. Now, I would leave that as number three. The way I've built the code, okay, the logic that works within it, it works with three. If you want to change it to show five lines of text or two lines of text, take this code, stick it into chat GPT or some other form of AI and be prescriptive about what you want. Make clear, look, this currently shows three lines. I want to show four lines change the code to manage that. That's very important. So don't start changing the number here and assume, yep, yeah, it's going to work because it won't do that. And then further down here, by the way, there's loads of other stuff going on with the code. But what you need to worry about is what I have over here. OK, so this is now where you're going to control what is the highlighted color. So in the middle, it's currently showing as white. What are the other colors? And over here, I've got a, a transparent whitish color. FFFFF5B, I think I've got over there. If you were to change this to be, say, a block color, something like that, and then I go in preview, you'll now get that effect. And I know you see a bit of like blending with when it changes from white to the pinkish red. If you want to go and hack into this code and improve it, be my guest. So if you don't want to have a transparent color, you don't have to. And like I said, if this was not going to have any opacity and you weren't going to have a background image, you could have had just a pure black color and it will work just the same. And don't forget, because this is a HTML widget and I'm going to get back onto the code, stay with me on this. I just want to make things very clear to you. You could have another heading sat above. This is the HTML bit. You could have below it a CTA, bu uh, CTA button. You could have like a text editor. You could have a gallery of images. 
So you can use your imagination because all of this little bit here is being done within the HTML. Let's pop that color back to what it was. How many slides are visible? Again, pop it in here, but please double check with the AI if you are going to mess around with it. What's the width of my carousel? I just set it to be 95%. I could have done it as 100%. If I set it to be 20%, it would probably cut off at some point here and then you'll get a wrap effect, which believe me, you don't want because it doesn't look so good. Um, over here, the font weight, uh, the font family. Because we're using HTML, if you've custom loaded like Poppins or Montserrat or Merriweather or whatever you've loaded in, just go and mention it over here and then go and mention the font weight. Just make sure you've custom loaded the correct one. This bit is important though. Okay, this bit's really important. I've gone and used a font clamp formula. I've got videos on that. Go and check out our code snippet. And I've gone and said that on the desktop, I want the size to go from 5.5. No, that's wrong. Over here, sorry. Font size goes from 4 REM down to 1.8. So when we get to the mobile, and yes, this does work on the mobile as well. When you go to preview, that's when you're going to see the effect, okay? Because when you're working with Elemental and you're in edit mode, it, it just shows um, one line. And it's not even showing the highlighted line. But when you go to preview, you will see it working. The second important bit, though, about the clamping was what is the line height between them. So when you get onto the desktop, the gap between them or, uh, sorry, I'm looking in the wrong place now, was 5.5 REM. You can use EM as well, but I just did 5.5 REM for the line height. But as you scale down to the mobile, I want it to go to 3.3. Now, the rule of thumb that I found worked really, really well in this scenario, it could vary between your font family, was to add on 1.5. So where I got 4, start at 5.5. Where I got 1.8 as my smallest size, just add on 1.5 to take me to 3.3. You got to go to back to your font clamp calculator and say, here's your maximum and your minimum. And then it will work out these values that sit over here. Don't just copy that and change it because that's just not how it works. And that's all you got to do. My recommendation is you take this code as is, go and load through, or if you've got a custom loaded font, just go and replace that text over there from Merriweather to be say Latter or Railway, or whatever you got, just paste this in and you will then see the effect. And when you're trying to say a lot on your hero banner, this could massively help you out. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. Go and check out our courses, how to learn CSS or how to build efficient websites with Elementor. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.